Welcome to DIY3DTech.com. Uh, this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to finish up a bit of the build of the 28BYJ-48 stepper motor camera slide build. Uh, quite a bit there. Uh, as you can see, what we did is we, if you've been following along, we've been using the 28BYJ-48 stepper motors. Great little project motor, extremely cheap. Uh, you can get them off the Amazon. There'll be links in the show notes. Comes with a built-in stepper driver. So basically, everything you need to put some sort of robotic or mechanized platform together connected to the Arduino. Um, and grant again, great little starter kit. So one of the things everybody needs a camera slider. So that's sort of where we started here in the labs to kind of experiment with uh, the motors and the stepper and the Arduino, etc. So with this, what we have is we got a couple brackets off Thingiverse. As you've seen, we've printed these up. Uh, the design to mount the the uh, 28 BYJs too. Uh, and actually, what we did is we just inverted the second mount over here and reversed it. So that's why they look similar. Uh, also got the uh, coupler. Uh, it's actually, I believe, an M4 to stepper coupler for the uh, 28 BYJ. Uh, here we're using a number eight. Uh, rod, uh, 32 TPI threads per inch. The interconnecting rods, which also hold the motor and hold the assembly basically together, uh, are number six uh, rods, uh, again, 32 TPIs. And what we've done, and I thought this was a rather uh, interesting little bench trick, is we took, take heat shrink tubing, put it over the threads, and shrunk it down to, to make this uh, semi-smooth. This is one of the problems we started out. It was uh, catching uh, on there. So uh, anyways, kind of a neat little trick uh, to come up with some simple rods. However, again, the uh, number six rods are a little bit too lightweight. They, they tend to flex a little bit too much uh, and, and, and bind up on the motor a bit. So uh, the other piece is the, the smaller stepper motors just don't have a lot of power. I can basically stall it just by grabbing it. Uh, even though they do have a 64 to 1 reduction, gear reduction, they still do not put out a lot of torque. We are driving it with a 5 volt, uh, 1.5 amp power supply. So plenty of power going to the motor. However, just um, they are what they are, very tiny stepper motors. So uh, please keep that in mind. We had originally printed a little bit more fancy um, a base, as you can see. Uh, basically, we inserted a number 8 hex screw in there, made it big enough to slide in. Uh, then we also added a uh, quarter inch uh, by 20 hex. Uh, to go in, and again, the idea was that this would set, uh, but it tended to bind up a little bit too much because it was too precision. Precision. So we went back to the original mount and actually drilled this out. The idea here, too, I think worth note, is we were going to tap out the bottom of this with uh, number eight by thirty-two threads. Simply did not work. So kind of like a three D printing tip here uh, when talking about thinking about threading. Basically what happens in the 3D print is there's an inner tube printed, honeycomb, and then an outer tube. So if you go and try to thread this, you will likely pull this tube out, and which is what I've done here. Um, yeah, I've tried thicker shells, higher densities, and I think it, it, you know pretty much because of the lamination, you can maybe see the striations here of the uh, as the print's built up. Uh, just the threading is not the best idea. I've tr um, tried a couple different ways, heating up the tap with a heat gun, etc. to try to get it to kind of mold through there. Again, has not worked very well uh, across the board. So we'll try some more of that. But again, uh, here's the basic build. Uh, it is moving. You can probably see the flash as it hits the lights off the uh, chrome nuts as it goes and turns. This is running in half-step configuration. And again, you go down to the internet and uh, see if I can't post some of the code in the link. Uh, but it's just you know basic step or half code, uh, half-step code uh, that's running. It'll run back. It'll come you know once it finishes the number of revolutions. It'll come back and, and just keep repeating and running off the Arduino. The only thing we've ran off the breadboard here is um, just for simplicity to, to plug in. There's a couple little notes maybe again in the bench tips. Uh, the stepper motor comes with male headers. I have ordered uh, the female to male uh, jumpers, but uh, Amazon's back ordered. So what I did in the meantime is basically just cut these in half, soldered them directly, and I did remove the header. 
Uh, basically, it's a single clad board, so really there's no solder pads there to connect to. So it went right to the chip, used a little heat shrink tube on here along with some hot glue to really make it stick, and again, it works out very well. And I've got the other side to reuse. The power supply we're using for this came, came from an old abandoned Comcast box. Uh, five, uh, 5 volts, 1.5 amps, so plenty of power actually to run uh, probably a couple of these uh, little motors without any type of issues. So uh, again, kind of interesting thing. Probably what we'll print up uh, in the very near future and build is a little bit more of a, a test bed type scenario to build it into this. Um, as you can see, we use the, the half breadboard bill for the Arduino on that. Print did not come out very good, having a few issues with the DaVinci uh, printer which we use here in the labs, printing big surface area prints, uh, had a bit of warping, plus um, my board that came with the kit, although it's supposed to fit, it had, was a little bit difficult fitting, used a hot air gun again to kind of stretch it out a little bit, so didn't come out the best looking, but it is practical, uh, and again allows it to kind of sit together and move as one unit on the bench so we're not pulling out wires, so again was, was a handy little trick. So. Um, Again, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe. In the future, we'll be working on other projects, um, including this one you'll see coming up. Uh, basically, it's a, a gimbal mount design based upon the same type of motor. Uh, here we have uh, a few small laser mount. Again, waiting for those to come in, as well as waiting for the uh, uh, female to male to come in to kind of adapt it. We did uh, somewhat successfully tap this out or get some threads in enough for it to work. It's pretty lightweight to mount on top of the tripod. And basically we'll use this to form, you know, either a pet type toy with a laser, uh, some kind of security device. Um, it's kind of interesting, you know, mounting it with the uh, 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 laser, sending it to come on at a certain time and scanning a room. Um, uh, you know, again, somebody looking from the outside will see this red beam scan across and scan back. Um, using the line mode uh, of, of a, a pen type laser so kind of interesting scares away the honest burglars anyway or um, probably do a GoPro type mount off here I think the other interesting thing is I may offer this in the future as a kit let me know what you think below uh, for those that really don't have a 3d printer but are interested in experimenting or just you know don't want to go through all the time uh, kind of put everything together and you know sell it as a kit to you know, again, where you can buy it and just assemble it yourself and make whatever you want out of it and have it kind of like a kind of like a Lego for adults. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe below. Please like and share with your friends. Thank you.